Welcome back to the Hope Root viewers. The last time you saw us, Dave was suffering from a very rough night at Lac de Moiry. Somebody else has been vomiting. Vomiting, sir. Vomiting. We've vomiting. both been vomiting. Vomiting real bad, sir. He's about to follow exactly the same pattern that I did for the next 72 hours, so let's see how we managed. Our route on day 8 took us from Lac Moiry over the Col de Sorbois, descends past the cable car station and into Zainal. We climbed out of the town to find a pitch before moving on to Gruben on day 9. Let's get moving! The morning after. Vomiting real bad, sir. Let's have a look at Graham. Graham hasn't been vomiting. I have been vomiting yet, but... Uh, <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm not too optimistic, as it If it's any consolation, it'll only last a few hours. Look at that. Start of day eight, and we're off. Sun's starting to glint off the, the mountains. You and me. Camp just down there, underneath the glacier. A spectacular campsite. Uh, another stormy night though. Grey day, but it's still spectacular. Look at that. cloud is lifting. We're getting views which I think might hopefully have perked Dave up a bit. How are you doing my love? Throwing up a... Drains you of energy doesn't it? Yeah. Won't forget this in a while. <laughs> You'll be alright when we get to the other side. We'll be chatting again. Right. I promise you I'll buy you a big pint of coke. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Coca <laughs> yeah. real thing. Oh, look at that. Just through that hole in the cloud. That is the vice horn. That's the Michabel Valley Peak. Vice horn, this horn. I think it's either Hobble Rotorn or Zimmer Rotorn. It's one of the two. Just start to clear but over that side. Cloudless at the moment. I'm walking towards Rothorn. Just a little bit of cloud touching the summit. Dave managed to climb up and over the Col de Sorbois. Slowly and surely, we then made the descent to the lovely town of Zainal. Just drop into Zainal. Zigzags down into Zainal. Many of them. One spot. <laughs> Cup of soups all round. And a uh, bit of tent drying from last night. And boot hairing. Sock drying. After a long lunch and a restock at the supermarket, now leaving Zainal. Zinal. And we'll find the way out. Which is down here on the left. Restocked with food, carrying heavy packs once more, Dave decided that it would be better to gain some ascent in order to soften the next day's hike to Gruben. And we're headed straight up the hill. <laughs> Dave has hiccups, but other than that, we're soldiering on. Up the mountainside, through the forest. Sun on our skin. Was that sorry, Dave? Very good. Well, here's our pitch for the night. <laughs> Dave's sporting the uh, short shorts look. He's obviously feeling a bit better. 
Legs 11 over there. I just wish I could wash my clothes. Well, it's not a bad view, is it? It's been a grand day. A grand day. Almost. It's up in his rocking chair by the fire. Almost. He always got killed almost, didn't he, in the westerns? Just rising, just starting to hit the peaks over there. Morning, morning. What can I say? I'm a morning person, and I could see no reason not to be cheerful waking up to this. But Dave was in for a rough day. He, like I, struggled on the second day of whatever virus we had picked up, and we had quite a climb up and over the Forcletta before we got to Gruben. <laughs> <laughs> By now, I was feeling really weak. I was just putting one foot in front of the other to keep up with the other two. But it was a will not to stop and the amazing scenery that kept me going. I think this has to be one of the most beautiful mornings we've had. It is so peaceful. I've just walked across that plateau over there. And it's stunning. But we have a little bit of a climb to do. Gotta get going. Dave plodded slowly, trying to go at a pace which would avoid having to stop and start again, ever onwards towards the Forcletta. Finally, we made it to the Forcletta. Well done, Dave, a mammoth effort. Well done. How's that feel? That's amazing, isn't it? That's probably my favourite climb of the whole trip. I, I think I agree. I think that has been the most beautiful climb. Yeah. Just to have everything, the weather, the, the views, um, the, the, you know, this, the, the steadiness of the climb. Yeah, yeah beautiful. It's just all come together, isn't it? I agree, I think it's been absolutely amazing. Wow. See the big peaks now.
lovely for me. <laughs> when you're not so good, I find it lovely to walk filth. Tents are absolutely sopping wet from a dry night. It's a heavy dew and condensation. Just come over the col and it is beautiful. Just over the top of the col there is Dorme Blanche. I'm so hungry I could eat the entire contents of my rucksack, just as long as it's not pasta in cheese and broccoli sauce. Going down there, isn't it? Right. Really cheap Mike Ashley shoes. Dropping to Grubin. Good morning. How are you? How are you today? Okay. Oh. You got an itch? Horn, Wasu Horn, and then Inner Cell Horn, Usa Cell Horn, Gassy Spitz, Usa Bar Horn, Inner Bar Horn, Brunner Horn, just a little bit of cloud, and then the far distance, the Bis Horn and Vice Horn. Just zoom you in a little bit for those two. You can see the route possibly just going up the Bis Horn. Road into Grubin. And it's washing day. You might see all the, the washing being done. There's clothes hanging on those fence posts over there. And there's a knee. And what belongs to that knee? Hat, it seems. A headless person. And, all above the head. and above the headless person sits another person, looking a bit like Rodan's thinker. Is that right? Was that Rodan? Anyway, I'll edit it out if it's wrong. Right over in the distance there is the Turkman Glacier. Is. We've arrived at our pitch on Sunday the 4th of August at the end of day 9 on the way to August Board Pass. It's a lovely pitch, a table, a 
table to eat your dinner off. I'm suffering from ice cream. Ice cream um, <laughs> yeah, ice cream overdose is the words I'm looking for. Ice cream overdose, banana split overdose. What a lovely spot we found, high above Gruben and poised to tackle a climb to Augsburg Pass in the morning. Camp kitchen. Dave is full of banana split, devoured whilst in Gruben to give him some energy for this final ascent from the village. I reckon it's a great place to end this section, in an idyllic setting and looking forward to what for Dave and I would be more familiar scenery. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If so, please do subscribe and share. Until next time, cheerio!